So apologies to my regular viewers, but I've got something a little bit different on my channel today. Uh, just posting this here in case it's useful to anyone really, I guess, at some point in the future. Uh, just to have a quick look at this, and obviously there's, you know, Big Clive's been quite successful with these uh, electric electronic teardown and repair type videos as well, so hey, maybe I could... Uh, yeah, steal a leaf out of his book as well. But uh, yeah, just be forewarned if you're into the retro computer stuff. Uh, this probably isn't going to be very interesting. But anyway, my wife uh, went to see our neighbour last night. And a bit of a long backstory about that. But uh, basically, uh, she, she had a, a quite a bad car accident last year. Like our neighbour, not the wife. And... Um, she doesn't have any family that uh, that sort of live locally. She, she's on her own, so we've been looking after her, and there was some paperwork to do uh, relating to that insurance type stuff and uh, whatever else. So we've been taken to the hospital and doing her shopping and all that lovely uh, good neighbour stuff. But uh, yeah, she uh, she happened to mention to my wife Catherine last night that uh, she had this LED light that has mysteriously stopped working. So I thought I, I wanted to test this kind of overhead filming setup anyway, uh, and I thought well. I'm sure I can fix that. How complicated can it be? So I haven't had a look at this yet. Uh, we'll pop it apart and see if we can see what's wrong with it. And also have a look at how it works and how it's all wired up. And I appreciate that these things are very uh, inexpensive and she's had it a few years now. I know you can pick them up for a couple of quid or whatever, but uh, hey, if it's repairable, why not, uh, why not fix it rather than just sending another thing to e-waste? So I think the way this works is uh, you just stick a couple of batteries in the back, just the whole back comes off, I think. And then there's uh, this button doesn't have the batteries in it at the moment, but uh, this button just to turn it on and off. So, and I think this is designed for like parasols, like garden parasols. I think it goes through the middle thing there, and then you're supposed to have it like that way up, shining downwards. But uh, she's she's been using it in her house for whatever reason. I don't know, in a cupboard or whatever. So let's uh, let's take this back cover off, and this appears to uh, just unscrew. Uh huh. There we go. That's very easy. And there we go. And the eagle-eyed among you have probably spotted the issue straight away. This little wire here, uh, I think is supposed to be connected to this battery contact just here, but it is, it is not. So yeah, I think just before we fix this, let's take these screws out and get a closer look at the inside. So I'm just popping up my screwdrivers. Uh, one second, please. My iFixit screwdriver set, hashtag not sponsored. iFixit, if you're watching, you wanna send me some free tools, please do. So let's just pop, there's only yet. It's only got two of the three screws in it. I don't know if someone's taken it apart before. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Fantastically constructed, uh, <laughs> cheap Chinese piece of equipment, as always. So, yeah, look at that. So the LEDs are on these curved PCBs. That's quite interesting, isn't it? And they've got like two, um, you know, traces per curved section. Really, really simple construction. They're all just wired in parallel. We've got three batteries. There'll be 1.5 volts-ish each, uh, so that's obviously, uh, uh, you know, 4.5 4 uh, volts, or I guess the rechargeables will be closer to sort of 1.2, aren't they, I think, so, yeah, well, whatever, but, um, yeah, it's uh, actually, yeah, I'm not sure what I was expecting, I, I guess I expected there to be a bit more to it, but um, evidently not, and then you've got the switch here, and these are just, yeah, like I say, these are wired in parallel, so this should, you'd think that one section, uh, uh, maybe not, actually, Anyway, let's get this wire reattached. So I've got my wire strippers just here. And we'll very carefully just strip this little white wire. Just uh, oops. see if we can pop that out a bit. There we go. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves for a second. There we go. Lovely. Bit of mess there. Let's tidy that up. And then what I'll do is just... Uh, so we don't want it in front of the battery terminal, that's not very useful. Turn this around just so it's facing me. Pop this back, we'll just, uh, just, just kind of wedge it in there like that. This isn't uh, advanced electronics or anything, it's just, uh, just a little LED light. Just wake up my pine saw. Nice little soldering iron this, if you're in the market for a, a small uh, portable soldering iron, it's USB-C powered, again, hashtag not sponsored, also hashtag not in focus. And we'll just let that heat up, clean the tip. Oh, it's not in the middle, there we go, get that centred. I've got a nice Kester solder here, no expense spared for the neighbour. And just heat this up. I have no uh, 
comments about my soldering skills, please. Just dob a big load of solder on there. Stick that in place, that uh, feels quite nice and solid, very nice. Just clean the, uh, clean the old tip afterwards, as you're supposed to do. And there we go, that's that. Uh, let's put the back back on. Uh, where's this bit, isn't it? Where's the other screw? So yeah, it seems like only one of the screws was, uh, maybe she took it apart trying to fix it, I don't know, but obviously only one of those screws was in place. And the, uh, two of them seem to still be present, but I'm sure it's not uh, all that important structurally. And I've got some batteries here, so we'll just pop those in, AA batteries. Haha, <laughs> I thought that might be the case. There was a 50-50 chance of that happening, wasn't there? And there we go. So yes, that's now. Oh, I see. Oh, that's nice. You can actually switch between the two and then I guess you can have both on as well. Very nice. So that's fixed. Another cheap piece of electronic tat saved from landfill. And I think I will uh, I'll also claim my rechargeable batteries back as well. So thank you very much for watching. Just a very simple, uh, straightforward oop, electronics repair video there. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, smash that bell, all that lovely, wonderful stuff. Sign up for my Patreon, yada, yada, yada. But that's fixed, and that will be going back to our lovely neighbour uh, on my way home tonight. And yes, another thing saved from landfill. Result!